The bombing of Würzburg in World War II was part of the strategic bombing campaign by the Allies against Nazi Germany. Würzburg, a city in Franconia. Although lacking major armaments industries the Würzburg radar was named after the city, but not produced there and hosting around 40 hospitals at the time, Würzburg was targeted as a traffic hub and as part of the attempt by Bomber Command to break the spirit of the German people. The major raid occurred on March 16, 1945, when Royal Air Force bombers dropped incendiary bombs that set fire to much of the city, killing an estimated 5,000 people and almost completely obliterating the historic town. Almost 90% of the buildings were destroyed by a raid that lasted less than 20 minutes. All of the city's churches, cathedrals, and other monuments were heavily damaged or destroyed. The city center, which mostly dated from medieval times, was totally destroyed in a firestorm. Over the next 20 years, the buildings of historical importance were painstakingly and accurately reconstructed. The citizens who rebuilt the city immediately after the end of the war were mostly women, Trummerfrauen rubble women", because the men were either dead or still prisoners of war. On a relative scale, Würzburg was destroyed to a larger extent than was Dresden in a firebombing the previous month. <laughs> Operation on March 16, 1945 The decision to bomb the town was made by RAF Bomber Command in High Wycombe, west of London due to favourable weather conditions predicted for 16 March. The target had been relatively undamaged and was on the way to other targets including Nuremberg. The half-timber buildings and cramped old city promised the release of a firestorm. The author Detlef Siebert wrote that, some like Würzburg or Fortsheim were primarily selected because they were easy for the bombers to find and destroy. Because they had a medieval center, they were expected to be particularly vulnerable to fire attack. Commencing the attack would be the No. 5 group, which had also carried out the heaviest raid on Dresden on February 13–14. Proportional to its size, the small town of Würzburg experienced an even higher proportion of death and destruction than Dresden. Avro Lancaster bombers of No. 5 Bomber Group launched at 1700 hours and met at a collection point west of London. The formation took a winding route in order to deceive German air defences, passing over the mouth of the Somme, Reims, and the Vosges Mountains in order to reach their target. They crossed the Rhine at south of Rastatt. At around 2100-225 Lancasters and 11 Mosquitoes of the No. 5 group crossed their target from the south. On the ground, a low-grade air raid alarm sounded at 1900 hours, and was raised to a high alarm at 2000. Because of a message from the command center of the Franconian command in Limburg and Der Lahn, the full alarm was given to the Würzburg population at 2107. The first bombs dropped at 2125, with an attack hour over Würzburg set for 2135 h. The formation passed over the entire city for the target marker h plus 7 minutes 2142. For this the attack had been preceded at H9 minute. 2126 with the 627th Squadron of Mosquito twin-engine bombers marked with green flares. These illuminated the target area, marking them out by flares on green parachutes, which the German population called Christmas trees. As a marker for the bombers, the sports field on Mergentheimer Strasse was used as a measuring guide. This point was identified at 2128 with red target marker flares. The bombing was then accomplished with a time lag in sectors. Sector bombing. 
The bombers had to fly over the red marker, take a specially assigned altitude and flight path, and trigger their bombs and different times. The target area was marked out like a fan, and the bombers flew in with different release times to ensure a carpet like coverage. Monitoring the situation was a master bomber. At a cruising speed of 350 km per hour, each bomber would fly over the entire target area in less than a minute. The bombing proceeded in three waves from 2125 to 2142. First the roofs and windows of the old town were destroyed with 256 heavy bombs and aerial mines 396 tons. This prepared the way for 300,000 incendiary bombs 582 tons. Within a very short time isolated pockets of fire emerged, and this developed into a single area-wide firestorm with temperatures from 1,500 to 2,000 degrees Celsius. The population had only minimal warning, and fortified bunkers were seldom available. For most, the best option was only a provisionally prepared basement shelter. To facilitate locating these shelters, buildings were marked on their walls Senior, LSR for shelter, NAR for emergency exit, and KSR for no shelter. These markers may still be found today scattered among the buildings. To avoid being caught in the fire storm or suffocating, many people ran for their lives and tried to reach the banks of the main river or the edge of town. The fire department was faced with a hopeless battle and tried to contain it with water lanes On the approach to Würzburg one Lancaster was shot down by a German night fighter and five more RAF Lancasters were lost during or after the attack. In the ruins of the city in the days which followed 3,000 dead were recovered or identified, and an additional 2,000 unregistered refugees are believed to have perished under the rubble. From a distance of 240 km away the departing bomber crews could see the glare of the burning city. Around 2 o'clock in the morning on March 17, 1945, the last bombers returned to base. Topic. Results The final report of the No. 5 Bomber Group on April 10, 145 gave the destruction of the city at 89%, and for the suburbs at 68%. This was above average, as was the Würzburg district of Heidingsfeld, which some bomber crews targeted before reaching their primary target. The British report accounted for a total of 1,207 tons of bombs. The only part of Würzburg unaffected was the Würzbach neighborhood and the Weschigheim. Accounting for all neighborhoods, the average destruction of Würzburg stood at 82%. Specifically this meant 21,062 homes and 35 churches destroyed. Among the destroyed monuments were the Würzburg Cathedral and parts of the Würzburg residence including its Hall of Mirrors. The staircase with the famous fresco by Giovanni Battista Tipolo survived due to an exceptionally strong ceiling construction for the 18th century. The American occupation forces immediately after the war secured the dilapidated building monuments in an exemplary manner. Topic. Aftermath On April 6, 1945, the city surrendered to American forces. 2.7 million cubic meters of rubble was only completely cleared in 1964. Before the war, the population of Würzburg had been about 108,000, whereas in early 1945 it held 75–85,000 people due to attrition caused by war service. On the day of its capture by American troops April 6, 1945, 36,850 city residents registered, and the population rose again to 53,000 by the end of 1945. 
To the left of the main entrance to the main cemetery is a mass grave containing the 3,000 recovered victims of the bombing. <laughs> Overview of all bombing raids on Würzburg <laughs>